Welcome back to lesson 48 in Free Code Camp's HTML and CSS section. Today's lesson override styles in subsequent CSS. So, our pink text class overrode our body element CSS declaration. We just proved that our classes will override the body element CSS. So, the next logical question is what can we do to override our pink text class? Create an additional CSS class called blue text that gives an element the color blue. Make sure it's below your pink text class declaration. So, order is important. I'm guessing if they're asking here, just learn something new. Apply the blue text. Well, I'm guessing I already knew this, but I forgot I knew it. So apply the blue text class to your H1 element in addition to your pink text class and let's see which one wins. So apply the blue text. So they're telling us to H1 element. So here in our H1, we're going to create something called blue text. So now our H1 has a class of pink text and it also has a class of blue text. So inside our style, so it says apply the blue text class in addition. Make sure it's below your pink text class declaration. So down here, we want to do the selector, select blue text class. We want to create this code to do color blue, I'm assuming. So no, it doesn't matter which order the classes are listed in the HTML element. So it's saying here in, in in here it doesn't matter which way you put it. You could put blue text first and pink text, but I'm guessing it matters how you put it in the style element. So they're telling us to apply, apply the blue text class. So give it the color blue. So blue one. However, the order of the class declarations in the style section are what is important. The second declaration will always take precedence over the first because dot blue text is declared second. It overrides the attributes of dot pink text. So the order you put it here is important. So that should be it for this one. Cool.